Hi folks, it's Nate Picos of Blambot, and welcome to Lettering Live. Uh, this week I posted an infographic about weathering text in Adobe Illustrator, and I thought it might make a nice subject for a Lettering Live quick tip. So I'm starting out with this alphabet that I've been creating. Um, so I'm working on a Western, and I needed something for cover credits for the creative team, and I couldn't find what I was looking for online, and I figured I might as well just make it. So here's this A, nice and clean, right? And here it is for the infographic. It's got sort of a wiggly weathered outline. It's got this texture in it that looks like parts of the ink have been worn away. How do we get there? So here's the E, right? Nice and clean, just like our starting A. And I've copied it here. The first thing I want to do is radius the corners just a little bit. If you hit the direct select tool on your keyboard, which is the A shortcut, you'll see all these little white circles show up with blue middles. Uh, if you grab one and pull, you'll start to radius the ends. And I just want a little bit, sort of like that. Okay. So next we're going to add some roughen. Effect, distort and transform, roughen, way too much. Um, roughen gets out of hand pretty quickly, so I would suggest you use it sparingly. And even that's way too much. So we're going to cut this down to like 0.01. And that's not bad. Um, okay, so let's object expand appearance. So now we're back to anchor points. Uh, the next step is optional. I've made a bunch of brushes that are organic and I'm gonna add a brush, that's way too thick. But you can see how, see this texture in here? How it kind of gives us a little bit more crunchiness to this. I'm gonna reduce the stroke though. Let's try 0.4, that's better. It will thicken up your letter a little bit. So now I gotta make this uh, not have a stroke on it anymore. So object, expand appearance again. And we're just gonna grab the vectorized outline and the center of the original line. And we're going to make compound path. So they're all one object again. Now how do we get that cool um, organic texture in the middle of the letters? So here's a scan. I took a high-res photo of an old Vietnam era ammunition box in my garage that I keep tools in. I thought the this pattern of scratches and dirt was so cool I wanted to use it. So I brought it into Illustrator, I vectorized it, and now I can copy it, paste it over here. It's way too big. Let's reduce that a couple times. That's not bad. So for now, I'm going to make this ammo box vector uh, the same color as the background here outside the artboard so we can see it against the letter and you can kind of move it around and say oh I want more texture or I want less texture and we're going to try to match this A a little bit so not a whole ton of it eh, that's not bad move it around move it around I mean you can play with this forever that's not bad so there's a couple ways you can do this. You can make a clipping mask uh, so that this would be impermanent and you could change it if you wanted to. But if this is just gonna be black letters appearing against say a, a, like an old yellow newsprint kind of background, then there's no reason to go into all that extra work of making a clipping mask. We're gonna use that vector of the ammo box to chop holes in the E. So select them both. Come on, you can do it. There we go. So now any background you place behind this is going to show through those little holes. So if, say if this were going to be words um, on old newsprint, let's try to find like an old newsprint color here, sort of a yellowed tan color like that, your background newsprint color is going to show through all the scratches in your quote unquote ink. And that's pretty much it. That's how I make weathered letters in Adobe Illustrator. All right, I will talk to you next time. Thanks for watching.